Hi guys, we have Mark from uh, Project Tango here who's going to be giving us a quick demo of the uh, a tablet they have here uh, with the development kit which is coming out later this summer so this is basically a really beefy hardware inside so you have as you can see you have a, like a projector here you have a regular camera here with a flash next to it and you also have a feature tracing camera this thing is really powerful it can actually uh, trace a room and <coughs> build it up in a 3d environment and all that kind of stuff you can sketch just by scanning the room in your your in and it's got a really powerful processor on the inside with the, the Tekra K1 from Nvidia and it has a just turn it around just turn it around so it has a 7 inch screen in the front so and it uh, is basically has 4 gigs of RAM 100 gigs of storage it has micro SD card uh, expansion as well as LTE support and uh, it's basically uh, a pretty good uh, device for developers who are looking at building 3D solutions and uh, understanding human motion so it can do uh, 3D tracking and all that kind of cool stuff so that's the uh, device itself, uh, the Project Tango uh, device, the K7 inch tablet, powered by an NVIDIA Tegra K1. So you have the screen here and you have the, some loudspeakers on the sides and here you have the, I think a docking connector and on the top you have your front facing camera here on the front, on the top you have uh, the volume and the power lock switch. And on the side you have the micro HDMI and the micro USB port for charging. And this is some uh, cool app which Mark is going to show us. So this is a, a game called Limbic which is about actually shooting zombies around. So what we're going to do now is actually move the tablet in a way that we're actually going to shoot zombies in a room where we are in. So it's actually human movement which is being praised real time and which is traced translated into an in-game movement here. So it's actually physically moving here. So this is probably something like Kinect on steroids in 3D. So you use the tablet to move around a virtual environment and it's captured uh, right on the screen and it's probably the Statue of Liberty I think or something like that, yes. So we have a 3D render inside the game there. It's a game by Limbic Games and it's actually doing some cool stuff here, going to the ground and shooting, You're looking up probably from looking down from a tower or something and we are shooting our yes. zombies which is kind of cool and there's no lag or anything, it's pretty smooth and fluid and uh, obviously because of the hardware but even the 7 inch form factor is also pretty nice so it's uh, on screen controls and you have some really cool stuff so Something as you're doing now is actually uh, is, is scanning. Is this scanning? 3D scanning. So this is 3D scanning With we are texture. doing. Uh, 3D texture scanning we are doing right here off the room here at Google I/O. And uh, not as accurate right now because there's a lot of movement around, uh -huh. so the the, the environment yep. is changing. So mm -hmm. uh, for a static environment, it'll be yeah. a lot better. So, so let's get a static environment. Uh -huh. There we go. Much faster. Uh -huh. More noticeable. A lot more people. With that, let me show you the point cloud so that you mm -hmm. can see what's what's moving in front mm -hmm. so, um, this is actually so with the textures it's difficult so mm -hmm. stay but here you go so you can see people uh -huh. do that wow so this is basically something like an infrared <laughs> camera of the human body movement here <laughs> well it, it's movement and the movement you know I uh, our eyes understand uh -huh. that those are humans because uh -huh. we recognize so it's basically the trying to do graphics the way humans understand it right the human brain the whole package is, uh -huh. is like make, is making you and us understand that this device can uh, understand the world like we do. Mm -hmm. right? Features, depth, uh, motion itself, calculating distance from afar. Um, so that's done with the help of the cameras in the back? Cameras at the back, feature tracking right mm -hmm. here, the, the fisheye. Uh, mm -hmm. And then of course the, the point cloud is caught. Uh, mm -hmm. Received by the depth sensor. Mm -hmm. Oops. All right. That's, um, so that's the point cloud. Um, I, the, the zombie gunship that that mm -hmm. give you a demonstration of the the uh, IMU and the future tracking working together mm -hmm. for at more accuracy, stability, so that there's not that the floating off, mm -hmm. drifting off into the into the world like a mm -hmm. lot of AR applications. All right. So yeah, the whole package together, it's. It, 
When's it coming out? What's it going to be priced at? So by the end of the summer, uh, mm -hmm. we will release the, the SDK, which will be priced at $1,024. Okay. Um, and then next year, we'll have LG uh, as our first announced OEM partner to make making the tablet form factor for us mm -hmm. as well. So, All right. Um, that schedule will be announced and, mm -hmm. and ironed out, but uh, yeah, expect more news. Sign up for our SDK and you'll get the, the early notification of when it's available by the end of the summer. All right. Mm -hmm. So that was Project Tango for you from Google I.O. 2014.